Hi everyone, this is Ro Xufang from Microsoft Research Asia, and I'm going to introduce our work, Mind the Scene, User Simulator for News Recommenders. Uh, we will start from the background about news recommendation. Every day, news recommenders will collect the latest news from some source website and present this news to new users. Here, recommendation is essential for news websites because the website is rapidly updated with plentiful information. Uh, generally, we will use a supervised learning to build the recommender systems. However, supervised recommender has some limitations. It is incapable of maximizing long-term goals and it is also difficult to optimize non-differentiable objects. And the reinforcement learning is designed to opti optimize such goals. So applying RL to recommendation obtained much attention. On the other hand, the reinforcement learning has been tried by many company products. Policies trained using reinforcement learning have obtained large improvements on these recommender systems. But applying reinforcement learning in real systems is extremely challenging. Since training RL agents require an interactive environment, they will interact like this and these RL agents improve themselves through trial and error. Uh, if, the, if we directly train them in an online production, recommender may provide some news with bad qualities. And then this will cause bad influence on user experience. Besides, Deploying a new recommendation policy is also not easy. Therefore, directly training RL agents in an online production is costly. Here, our solution is building a new simulator for news recommender, which can benefit for many experts. Building a user simulator for news recommendation have some unique challenges. On the one, on the one hand, news recommenders need to deal with diverse new items. They are generated almost every minute and can quickly, can quickly become out of date within a few days or even hours. Uh, so the simulator should be capable of modeling user interest over faster changing and high diverse news collections. Second, to prevent the trend RL agent overfitting to the static dataset, the simulator should also go beyond the current dataset and uh, generate new users with similar behaviors as real users. So how to build the user simulator for news recommenders? Our goal will be simulating users with appropriate behaviors. First, to, to obtain appropriate behaviors, here we try to capture the fast user interest drift over diverse newly appeared news. Specifically, there are different levels of changing interests. First, the general interest may contain users' preference on different types of news. Based on them, users' recent click news may be different and they should also be taken into consideration. Uh, finally, instant changes within current ongoing session is also important. Users' next click within this ongoing session may depend on the previous one. His interests may keep sent like this from election to bottom, and also make, may also change to NBA when he is tied of the previous one. These instant changes should also be considered. Modeling these complex behaviors is necessary for recommender systems because they come with rapidly updated and plentiful information, as well as newly appeared news. For another aspect in this goal, we need to simulate users be beyond the offline data set. Here we construct a hidden space and every point in this space refers to the representation of a specific user. And the new users are sampled from this hidden space. We use the generative adversary model to learn the distribution of user representations and the generated new users. Here we present the problem setting and the formulation in our proposed user simulator, mind the scene. We focus on a typical setting that the news recommender and the users are interacted in this way. The recommender will continuously present lists of news from large candidate set to users and the user will click them or not. 
we notice that the user's general interest is unknown to the recommender. And thus, we propose to introduce partially observable Markov decision process to formulate this problem. Here, the observation contains information that the recommender can see, and the state contains full information at the user set, including the general user interests. The action is a list of news that the recommender presented to the user, and the state transition function models clicking behaviors of users. Here is the model architecture of Minusin. It is an encoder-decoder architecture, and it, contains, it consists of multiple transformer layers. Uh, first, each news is encoded into vectors by a pretrained BERT-like text encoder. So rich text information in news can be utilized in this way. Then the encoder takes all the input news into a stacked transformer layers and aggregate them into a hidden vector H through mean pooling. Then start from H, the encoder, uh, the decoder predicts a sequence of news vectors in an autoregressive way. For the final matching part, we calculate the score for each candidate news through the dot product between the predicted news vector and the candidate news embeddings. And then we will choose the one with max score. Max score. The whole model is end-to-end -end optimized with the cross entropy loss. Mindsync contains two stages, and uh, they are built, uh, all built upon the model architecture in the last slide. In the first stage, the user hidden space is constructed. Specifically, we first use the encoder decoder to reconstruct the sequence of historical click the news. And the vector output by the encoder is taken as the representation vector as a of a specific user. Then we use scan to learn the distribution of user representations and then generate new user representations by sampling from the distribution. In this way, Mendelssohn can go beyond the static data set and simulate new users. In the second stage, the encoder will take the user representation vectors and the recently click the news by the users as inputs, and the decoding process and the decoding process simulates the user clicking behaviors among current candidate news. In each step, one click the news will be chosen from candidate news, and uh, this click the news is considered by the model in an autoregressive way, and thus user interest changes inside a current session can also be modeled here. For experiments, we use the Minded dataset. It contains anomalized behavior logs from Microsoft news website. We first group impressions in mind by user ID and separate all users into trend validation the testing datasets. In the way shown in this finger, to avoid information leakage, the trend validation and the testing datasets have no overlap on both user and the time. And the number of users are labeled in this finger. Here are some predictive performance, trying to answer the question that can model user behaviors appropriately and accurately. This part is also related with one of the aspects in our goal, which is appropriate behaviors. We compare the ranking performance with multiple baselines. We can see that Mendelssohn outperformed the baselines, which demonstrated that Mendelssohn can accurately predict the user's clicks and help to appropriately help to appropriately model user behaviors with fast and complex user interest changes when building the user simulator for news recommenders. And there are some results on generation. This part corresponds to the question, can Mendelssohn simulate users whose behavior are similar to real users? This is related to another aspect in our goal. On the left side, this picture showed two-dimensional visualization of real data in red dots and the generated data in blue dots. For both user hidden vectors and embedding of click the news, this result demonstrated that Mendelssohn can generate users whose behavior are similar to real users. And thus, the core problem in building a user simulator for news recommendation is addressed. On the right side, we 
also provide some ablation study with quantitative comparison. Here we use shrinkle divergence to measure the similarity between behaviors of generated users and the real users. We calculate the shrinkle divergence with the different number of use to eliminate sampling bias in estimation. We remove the encoder and uh, all the decoder in medicine to investigate their effects. And the results tell us that both encoder and the decoder are important for medicine. But finally, we try to answer the question, can medicine go beyond the fixed offline data set using this experiment regarding generalization performance? In this table, numbers in the original line are model a model performance trend using the original statistic, static data set. And the number in the augmented line are model performance trend using the original data set plus some data generated by minus C. All models are evaluated using a separate testing data set so that we can see the influence of generated data on generalization. We compare multiple recommendation methods and metrics here, and uh, uh, the plus sign indicates improvements when generated data is added for training recommenders. And the results show MindScene can help to promote almost every metric for recommendation methods on the testing data. The promotion on generation performance demonstrates that medicine can go beyond and enhance data set by simulating new users with similar behaviors as real users. Uh, so it's the end of my talk. Thanks for your listening. Thank you, Xu Fang. Thank you. Does the audience have any questions? Um, so I, I have a question. Uh, can you yeah, hear me? Please. Yes. Uh, how can we know the minus model reflect the uh, real user behavior that is unobserved? I mean, uh, in real. the computer system, user behaviors are implicit, so we can know the real preference of the user. So. Does my okay. No. Ah. Uh, mm, I think we. Uh, we first of all we compare the. We compare the generated data and the real data, uh, and it, it looks like similar. <laughs> it's the first aspect, and for the second aspect, we, we. Add the generated data for training, and uh, it shows some improvement on generation performance. So maybe this can indicate that medicine can find some behaviors that is not existing in the current data set. Ah, okay, thank you. Okay, um, there's another question in the chat um, from Masahish Hiro. Um, the question is, have you tried using it for RL search setting since the initial motivation was the, this was a simulation for RL uh, yeah, for reinforcement uh, learning? Yes, yes, yes. It's a great question. Uh, we plan to do this in our future work. Okay. I actually had a similar question of uh, how does it compare with the RECO gym, which is another um, New, yeah. uh, not not particular news, but uh, recommendation simulator. Uh, actually, we have mentioned the record gym in our related works. Uh, it is not a simulator for news recommendation. It's a general simulator, I think. So yeah. much properties for news recommendation, uh, as I mentioned before. Um, Sorry. Oh, here. Uh, much challenges in news recommendation has not been addressed by the record gene system. Uh, so we haven't compared the record gene system to medicine. Yeah. Uh, 